Welcome to the much-awaited UI video for The War Within. This is uh, featuring a lot of crazy changes in terms of LUA from the previous expansion, Dragonflight. So a lot of things broke that you may not even realize that broke about my UI, and they all needed to be fixed. Pretty much TLDR, any type of like numerical assumption like we have with the damage type weak aura, where it's telling us how much damage we're taking, or we have like the blood shield or umbilicus, these things did not work anymore, and I had to find ways to update them. So uh, this was not done by me. I'm not able to do any of this stuff myself. Luckily, we had a lot of help and geniuses in the community come forward to update that stuff. So uh, I will show you guys everything that you know is featured on the UI, like always. But I did want to start by saying that you know a lot of things changed that haven't changed in many, many, many years. So it's crucial to understand you know that those things changed, and those were really all the stuff I mentioned with a few others that will go over as the video uh, progresses. But I will show you guys the UI and kind of an overview of everything that's on the screen. You know, many people comment about my UI, but uh, you know, it's very perfunctory. It is not there to be pretty. It's simply there to track everything that I need to track and nothing I don't need to track. So if you want to use my exact UI, you can. Uh, one good thing about it is it's very modular. So if you feel like there's something that you would like to change about it, it's all, you know, individual weak ores with very obvious you know, options and solutions to any of your problems. If you have any questions on any of this, let me know. I can help you with that too. But yeah, right out of the gate, you will see the CDs. This is like the big thing that I think everybody's eyes get drawn to whenever they see the UI for the first time. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I have them that big so I can not actually look at them while I'm still looking at the middle of the screen and big enough that I can see them while I'm, uh, you know, not looking at the screen at all while I'm reading chat. Unfortunately, you know, or fortunately, however you want to put it, but I don't have room for uh, a bomb limb. I'm not currently using a bomb limb anymore. And even if I was, I would not have it on the screen because I do not like how it looks when there are five of those stacked up. I feel like it starts blocking information about the actual enemy's health bar and plater. Um, so if you are using a bomb limb and you download this, it will be five and four, which I would dislike the way it looked as well. Um, but obviously, we had to add Reaper's Mark and Bone Storm. I don't know what I would get rid of. I'd probably get rid of the pet, to be honest, if I had to go down to four and four again with a bomb limb. But yeah, I'm not using a bomb limb. Everything that you see tracked is all like the major CDs I have. Um, but that didn't really need to be updated. I just had to add new stuff for that. Right underneath it, you will see the uh, damage type weak ore. This is like crucial. It's so important for me. I pretty much couldn't play my character without this. And this was not, uh, you know, this was one that somebody, some genius had to come forward and help me with because it's very, very complicated. Weak core, I believe, and pretty much everything about it had to be updated. So I'm just going to link the actual like Wago page for that now, since somebody has pretty much said that they will maintain this now for the rest of, you know, their time in the game. And, you know, you can download that one instead of my import just in case. You never know what you know might change in the future, so better to get it from the source now. Uh, but yeah, that that weak aura was pretty much non-functional; it, it wouldn't even load without the changes. So that was the biggest one that had to change. Also, like I said, the umbilicus one and the blood shield one; those needed to change. They've been updated, and they're down below. Uh, the other big one that needed to change was the death strike predictor. So my health bar and everything that comes with it is all one weak aura. And the Death Strike Predictor is in that weak aura. This is one that's like, I don't know how important this is to people. Uh, for me, I don't know like the actual function of it too much anymore and how useful it is. But what I've gotten used to is seeing the white bar that is on the health bar. That tells me that I can Death Strike. So it's basically another, you know, layer of assurance that Death Strike is available or is not available. If I don't see that white bar, it means I cannot Death Strike. And that overlaid on top of my exact health with numbers and everything supporting it, it tells me exactly what kind of danger I'm in at all times. This is probably my most like functional weak or set, and the one that like I you know if that ever got turned off, I would just have no idea if I could live or die. Uh, so yeah, that one you know comes with the actual HP bar. You can separate it if you need it, but again, that one's just going to be something that's monitored and hopefully not going to change. But you know there was big changes to Death Strike. So I, that one needed a total total revamp, total overhaul, but pretty much like a whole new week or for that. The uh, rest of the UI stuff has always been the same, hasn't really changed. We got the Bone Shield stuff, that's not changed. Hemostasis, that's not changed. The external CD stuff, that's not really changed. There may be some new ones that I never added. 
I don't really know, uh, you know, if there is anything to be honest, but I didn't really add anything new. And then we still have like the spell flash weak horrors and stuff that I don't necessarily use a ton, but they're still on the screen there. Uh, another one that needed to be changed heavily was the interrupt tracker. This is one that I would really recommend everybody just gets like a, a Wago export of their own and just kind of maintains that through that because this is something that's going to be needing to be updated, especially if they ever add new classes or specs in general to the game. It needs to be updated from that. So you can't really just like have this week or and keep it for years. Uh, you know, this one I just got and there's a bit of a caveat that it needs to come with a library. Uh, if you have no library, it won't be able to track the CD of the person. So, for example, you either need weak ores or deadly boss mod slash big wigs. If the person doesn't have those things, then they cannot be tracked. And this is kind of double edged sword, uh, but it's, it could be very beneficial because, yeah, I think if you're doing a mythic plus, you know, for example, in this 11, if I see somebody in this group doesn't have their interrupt on this list, then that means they're doing this 11 without either weak ores or DBM slash big wigs. And that means I'm probably leaving the group because that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? So I don't know why that's a feature the ui or the add-on thing now but either way that's from what i've been seeing that's how it works now uh, we also have the uh some other small updates that the ui needed the plater profile we got you know obviously the default profile which is now like there's a plugin for deadly boss mods and big wigs which is really 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 cool uh, I haven't messed too much with that kind of stuff, but I did do, you know, some uh, bar changes, like the color changes. I added a Reaper's Mark to like the special buffs to track that a little bit easier to see exactly what target has that. And then obviously any type of important cast, I have made a uh, like a modification of the cast color and added, added that sound to it. To be honest, so there's pretty much nothing. Like if it wasn't for the add-on being updated, you'd probably just use the exact same profile from last expansion and it would pretty much not be any different. But that feature is like incredibly important. If you don't use Plater, you really need to start. It's like the best add-on. It's basically like a little boss mods add-on plus a, a nameplate add-on now. So anybody doing any type of Serious Mythic Plus, yeah, you really want Plater. Same thing with details, no real changes. I uploaded, I uploaded both profiles for these things and they should just work out of the box. There are not really any changes at all. Um, but yeah, nothing really new about the add-ons. I also can't make this video without talking about my like texture replacements and the general look of the UI. Uh, one thing a lot of people probably don't understand is that I'm actually using a custom texture pack. It replaces the Blizzard Raid texture uh, so pretty much any bar you see whether that's on plater the damage type weak or my health bar details the raid bars on the left any texture that an add-on is using is using that custom texture this was i actually got this from nagi back in nighthold so in legion uh, and it has worked and probably never going to not work ever since so that is down below as well if you want that i think it does make the game look a lot crisper and the bars look a lot cleaner we also have the custom icons. I really only added one, and that is the uh, blood boil. So if you guys don't use sand land, or you, you are using sand land, or you don't really care to have your blood boil changed, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the, you know, what the name of these and how to how to modify these on your own. I have a whole video on that as well. I would really recommend looking into it. It's actually very fun to modify your icons. Uh, this is totally allowed. Somebody asked us a couple days ago. This is just you basically overlaying data on top of the game in the same way that an add-on might work. Like you have a LUA, you know, page, a text, a text bar thing, and it kind of overlays the LUA stuff that your add-on is, is changing. It's the same way with the icons and the textures. Blizzard's default, as long as you have the correct path, is just going to get overlaid and you're not actually changing any files. You're simply kind of overlaying on top of them. Um, but yeah, I have like probably like 50 to 100 custom icons now. So just be aware there's some for other specs and classes that I play or I'm interested in that may conflict. Like, for example, uh, you know, the Holy Shock one is the same icon as Holy Fire from Holy Priest. So it would look weird if you're playing Holy Priest and that only that one icon has changed. Like I said, you'll want to familiarize yourself with how to modify these or just remove the one I added. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's everything in terms of the UI. There's one other major thing that I want to talk about, and that is the angry keystones. Pretty much all the stuff that you see over here. These uh, numbers are a common question on this channel. 
And up until the War Within, I didn't actually know what they were. But from what I could tell, it's a combination of the add-on Angry Keystone and a weak aura called like Potom Mythic Plus Timers or something like that. I guess this is like some dude from like Method or something like that. I got this weak aura back in Legion and I had not updated it in, until the War Within. And it wasn't updatable. Like the guy made it. And then it was like before people started making those like custom, like, you know, how you people have like a whole different UI for the actual mythic plus info there like they have a whole custom that was like before people started doing that so i've just been using this ever since legion and i've always liked it it's really really good and i use it for one very specific thing right now you see on 13 there's 13 minutes left in this dungeon i can reference that to 30 minutes and like i can get a feel for like where we're at in the dungeon because of that number so that's like the number one thing i use that for and then another that was another add-on that really needed to be updated I couldn't figure it out. Again, some genius came and, and helped me with that. So that one is probably never going to be needing an update again, hopefully. And then, yeah, I think Angry Keystones is the thing that's putting like the little yellow bars above the green numbers, but the green numbers are there indicating exactly how much time you have in terms of the double upgrade. And then Angry Keystones is also the add-on that whenever you hover over the deaths, it tells you exactly how many players have died. Without that, you don't you don't know all that. Like how you can see, like if somebody dies like seven times, it shows that in Angry Keystones, which is pretty crucial this season and this expansion with the changes. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I think there's probably some smaller smaller changes. Oh yeah, the uh, spell flash for my interrupt that was one that needed to be updated as well. Whenever I target something that I can interrupt, and my interrupt is available, it will show up on the screen. This is more important than you realize it is too because when something isn't interruptible or so something is interruptible but my interrupt isn't available it will show me the actual cd of the interrupt and for example i can reference this to plater say one of these mobs is casting a spell for 3.5 seconds and my interrupt has a 3.2 second cooldown on it well just by looking at the numbers i can tell i can interrupt this before it goes off so this is really crucial because there's a lot of times when everybody's interrupt is down and you might not be able to tell at a glance if this spell is going to be kicked or if it needs to be something like stun or death grip to stop it you know with this weak or and something like it it can be very very crucial to tell when you should use your actual interrupt versus when you can use other types of ccs but yeah i think that's pretty much everything if you guys have any questions let me know i will be updating this video's description for the rest of the expansion so this is the only video you'll need to find. And if I didn't, you know, if I didn't show you something that you want or uh, something I missed isn't in the description, please let me know. Leave a comment and I will update it. But yeah, thank you for watching. We will see you guys in the next one.